today I'm opening up a gigantic Funko Pop mystery box. This total cost of this was $240. It was bought back on April the 28th. So let's see what's in this. You want to? So this is a ChazCollectibles.com all-exclusive damaged mystery box, which that means some pops could be damaged, some will be completely fine. But there's a limit of four boxes per person, six pops per box. Of course, I got my limit of four. Will I do all four boxes in one video? I'm really not too sure if I'll do all four. That's gonna take a very long time. But you never know, we might just do all four boxes. There we go. One. Two, three, and four. So whenever they do their mystery boxes, they always like repackage them in their old sorter boxes that they actually have around their warehouse. The details, $60 per box, $100 minimum value guarantee if they were mint. Six pops, all exclusive. Of course, the chalice, you'll know, you'll get quite a bit of the overseas stickers. You know that going in. Damage will vary, but it mostly will be to the box and to the sticker. Not everyone will get a grail or a top hit. Over 100 variety of exclusives, limited 250 boxes, limit four per person. Grails will also have some damage in the grails available in this box. You've got the Jolly Roger, that super limited piece. You got the original Ochako Mast. You got the Glow in the Dark White Lady. The OG SpongeBob. You have a Dobby autograph by the voice actor. The uh, the super rare, like the, what's it called? The Shanghai Batman, I think it's something like that. J Balvin and Chase, some more Bleach exclusives. Let's do this though. Will I do all four in this video? Let's just see how long some of these take. I probably won't spend a whole lot of time going through each box because in order to do all four boxes in one video, I'm gonna have to go with a little bit of speed through these pops. Here we go, you ready though? First one, first box. First pop. Coming out, we got Hunter Hunter. Actually has a little bit of box damage on the back. Has a small tear on the back of the box. Whenever Fungo made this box, they kind of missed it and they tore the box a little bit. We got Kumugu overseas sticker. Next. Another Hunter Hunter. We've got Kilzuia. Okay. Next. Kind of keep this, mo this moving a little bit. My, my Hero All Might 2021 Shared Sticker NYCC. Next. Attack on Titan Overseas Sticker. Next. Avengers Loki with Scepter. That's a cool one. That's a much, much newer one too. Entertainment Earth Exclusive Loki. That's a super cool one. I like that pop. That one is super cool. Last one. Demon Slayer, Fungal Shop, or Fungal Overseas Stick. Okay, let's see PPG value these first six pops. $38, $27, $24, $18, $22, $21. Grand total of this first box, looking at $150 even. That's fantastic right there. I will take that in a freaking heartbeat. Let me start keeping total. So first box, these were, what would I say, 60 a piece, right? That first one was almost $100 more than what I paid. That's why I love whenever Child's Collectibles do these like damaged mystery boxes, because the value of these things would be crazy. And only like really only one pop had any kind of like damage on it. Here we go, box number two. Keep it cruising. No need to go too slow on this. Keep this video moving at a good pace if possible because we have a total of 24 pops if I do all four boxes. We'll just see, see how it goes. Here we go. Box number two, first pop. We got, looks like Boba Fett in the back. Nice, Boba Fett 2021 NYCC shared sticker of Boba. Not bad. Number two, a Marvel. We got Lady Loki, overseas sticker of Lady Loki. That's a cool one. Not bad. Okay. Number three. Baruto. Glow in the dark. Nice. Number four. We have Cowboy Bebop. Spike. Number five. We have 
Uh, Glow in the Dark, a Demon Slayer pop. Okay, last one, box number two. Beerus. Funimation 2020 exclusive of Beerus. Let's see PBG values. $28, Grand total box number two, 151 bucks. So right now, <laughs> these first two boxes, looking at $301. So I'm already in profit after the first two boxes. How crazy is that? Still two boxes left. Have not hit any kind of major grails yet either. So I mean, even though I'm getting crazy value back right now, I still haven't even, even hit like a big grail yet. The most expensive pop is like what, thirty something? So how crazy is that? <laughs> not even a big grail yet. Box number three, you ready to do this? Six more pops. Keep it moving. Keep it cruising. We don't want a thirty-minute video, right? Not really. My goal is maybe do all four boxes in under like 15 minutes if possible. I don't know what's gonna happen. It might be close. Here we go, next one, you ready? First one. Back says One Piece. Snake Man Luffy, One Piece. Very cool one, overseas sticker. Nothing's actually really been damaged yet in the first like two and a half boxes. Next one. We have Spinner. 2022 Winter Con exclusive. Nice one. No damage. Here we go, number three. Back says Spider Man. We got Dr. Octopus Spider Man. Super cool one. No damage. <laughs> damage. Pretty much, I think they call it a damage mystery box because, like, the big grail pieces had damage on them. Everything else is pretty much mint boxes. We got Brave. Marita. 2022 NYCC shared sticker. Box is mint. Next one. Ooh, that's in a protect. Yes! 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 Wow! I hit one of the top and pull the picture again. Yes! They had nine top hits out of how many boxes? It was 250 boxes. I got one of the top hits out. I got the OG SpongeBob. This one is a nice one right here. OG SpongeBob from 2013, 10-year-old pop with that OG sticker on it. The SpongeBob fan celebration, Universal Studios. A little bit of box damage on it. That's why they call this thing a, you know, a damage mystery box. I have no clue what this thing is worth. I've never had this pop before. This might be a big one right there. You guys, a little small tear right there, small crease right there. For the age of this pop, though, it's in it's in decent shape for the age of it. I actually I have never, ever before hit a pictured hit in a chalice mystery box. This is my first one ever. Nice. Here's the last one. In this box we got Kakashi Hitaki. I have no clue what that pop's worth. I'm kind of excited to see the value of it. Twenty dollars. Seventeen dollars. $15, $28, what? Okay, I'm looking on PPG. This OG SpongeBob has four different variations. There is a gold SpongeBob SquarePants worth a hundred bucks. That's not gold, that's like, it's like metallic. Then there is a glow in the dark SpongeBob that's worth $110. Then there is just the normal, like common SpongeBob worth 95. Then there is the SpongeBob SquarePants Metallic, released in 2013. That's the SpongeBob SquarePants Metallic PPG value. I had no idea this was worth that much. PPG, $1,150. I hit a, in a $60 mystery box, I hit a, over a thousand dollar grail. Nice. I've been buying from Chalice Collectibles for like 
five years, I think. Yeah, about five years. I've purchased 100, 200 mystery boxes from them in the hundreds. First grail I've ever hit. Wow. I wonder, was, was that top hit, you think? Because the top hits were the Jolly Roger, the limited piece. I didn't think that was like, what, under a thousand, I think. The masked Ochako, that was probably you know, several hundred. The White Lady, Glow in the Dark, I have no idea how much it was worth. This might have been the actual top hit in the entire mystery box run. This might have been it. This might have been the Big Grail. That's a th that's over a thousand dollar pop. A little bit of damage is right there, but this thing obviously is very, very rare. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. Did not expect that. I've never hit anything that big before in a chalice box. Ever. Ever. I'm going to leave this thing out. Because, oh, what what was the total value from that box? Plus 1150. So that box came in at $1,260. This box I bought for $60. I got $1,200 of profit in this one box. Yeah, SpongeBob... Honestly, that's that has to be the top hit. It's got to be. That, that's got to be the top hit for this box run. If it's not, I'll be shocked, but that's huge. That is awesome. I've bought, I don't know, probably a couple hundred mystery boxes from Chalice. I've never hit a grail before. I've never hit like a grail before in Chalice. Craziness. Here we go. We still have box number four. I'll try and keep this video under 15 minutes. It might not happen now, but it still might. It all depends on how much blabbering that I did during this video. Here we go. Next one. What's wrong with that box right there? It's like bulging. But we have Bell Diamond Collection. I want to fix that. It's like a little bit of damage on that one, but I'll try to see if I can fix it a little bit. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Next one. We're looking at All Might Weekend. Okay. Next, the odds I get out like a major top hit again in this box, it's like slim to none. Wanda Maximoff, this is a cool one. Entertainment Rather Exclusive, Glow in the Dark, very minty of Wanda. Next one. Ooh, Tony Stark, I am Iron Man with the snap. I actually have this pop autographed by Robert Downey Jr. in the personal collection. Good pop right there. Fifth one. Demon Slayer, Funko Sh or uh, the overseas sticker. Last one. We got Goku. 2022 share sticker. NYCC. This box not as good as the previous box. Obviously. But let's see PPG value. $36. $18. $20. $30. $45. $19. Grand total of this box, $168. So grand total of all four boxes with the grail. I spent on these four boxes $240. That was my cost. I walked away with $1,729. So I'm up almost around $1,500 of profit. My $240 became like seven times my money back that's incredible so yeah all these pops will be available in a future whatnot live auction make sure to download the whatnot app that'll be directly down below click on the app download it it's completely free i auction live every friday night exclusively on whatnot i do giveaways with a lot of fun i sell pops i sell comics use my link down below to whatnot to download the app save 15 bucks on your first purchase so your very first pop you purchase on the app could be free with my link down below use my link save money and of course all these pops do not come in any kind of pop protectors i'll make sure to put these into brand new set bucks pop pop shield pop protectors my preferred pop protector i use all of my funko pops and something like this is going to go into seven bucks of pop pop armor the cadillac of pop protection it is a thick hard stack that protects pretty much pops from nuclear blasts not a joke but this is a huge hit this is a thousand dollar piece even with the damage on it right there on, on the corner it's still a thousand dollar piece this thing is ultra rare i've never had this before that is a heck of a hit my first ever child's collectible i think it's going to be top hit i think it's top hit 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video, because <laughs> I did. Take all the pressure like I'm facing this test. Oh.